Hey guys, this is Austin, and today I'm here with what to expect on the iPhone 5S. So of course, the iPhone 5 has only been out for a little while, however, there are already a lot of rumors and a lot of information about the next generation of iPhone, so let's take a look. Just like the iPhone 3GS was an upgrade from the 3G and the 4S was an upgrade from the 4, the iPhone 5S should be an upgrade from, amazingly enough, the iPhone 5. So as I try to get away from that terrible joke, some of the major improvements have to do with the camera. So the iPhone 5 and 4S basically had the same camera with 8 megapixels. Now it actually really wasn't all that bad at all, however there definitely have been some improvements in the last couple years, so expect Apple to improve this to a 13 megapixel sensor in the iPhone 5S. Apple is also rumored to be improving the flash on the new iPhone. So if you guys have ever used a flash on your phone, you probably have noticed that it's terrible. So I don't think I've ever actually gotten a good picture using the flash on my phone. So how Apple plans to fix this, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, some of the rumors indicate that the size of the flash, or at least the size of the cutout for the flash, will be a lot bigger, so maybe they'll add multiple LEDs or something. But hey, I will be very happy if there's actually a usable flash on a phone. The iPhone 5S should also be quite a bit faster. So I expect to see an Apple A7 chipset inside, so more than likely this will stay dual core, as for iOS there actually really isn't a lot of benefit from going to something like quad core, although it is a possibility. With huge phones like the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 around, I'm probably not the only one who wishes the iPhone screen would get a little bit bigger. However, if you're hoping for that, don't hold your breath for this year, as it's mostly expected to be the exact same design from the iPhone 5, including the same 4 inch display. Now like I said, there will be some tweaks and it may look just a little bit differently, but for the most part expect the same hardware to carry over to the iPhone 5S. Where it gets interesting is that we may actually see more than one new iPhone come out. So for years I've been hearing rumors about a supposed cheap, low cost option of the current iPhone. So while the 5 and the 4S are great, they are very expensive phones, and if Apple could create a cheaper iPhone without being actually cheap, they could actually do really well. So this phone, which I'm going to call the iPhone C, even though that's definitely not going to be the real name, but just as a placeholder, so this iPhone C will supposedly be a little bit wider, a little bit taller, and about a millimeter thicker. It's also going to ditch the glass and metal construction, which of course is very expensive on the iPhone 4S and 5, for something that's a lot more plastic oriented. As far as the looks go, imagine an iPhone 3GS mixed with an iPhone 5. So it still should have a lot of the same things, so expect a 4 inch display, probably still retina, maybe slightly lower quality, but basically the same thing. A lightning port, headphone jack, all the kind of standard things, but it won't be quite as powerful. Supposedly, the iPhone C will be running a Qualcomm Snapdragon processor. Now this is interesting, as pretty much every single Apple device out there runs some kind of Apple design processor, whether it be an Apple A4, A5, or A6. However, if they did go with Snapdragon, this would mean a couple things. For starters, it would be much cheaper, as they are combining three chips down into one, which reduces on both complexity as well as cost. Beyond that, it would also deliver a clear difference in performance between the standard iPhone and the iPhone C, as of course they don't want it to be anywhere near as powerful as their flagship phone. All of this combined would make the iPhone C a much cheaper option than the current iPhone 5 and indeed the iPhone 5S. However, I would definitely take everything I just said about the iPhone C with a pretty major grain of salt. Now while it would make sense to have a cheaper version of the iPhone for countries like China, India, and even here in the United States where people want something that's just a little bit cheaper, it's definitely not a done deal by all means. As far as a possible release date for the iPhone 5S and iPhone C, my best bet would be somewhere between September and October. Now some people think it may be earlier, something like June or July, and while that's possible, I definitely think that Apple is probably going to stick to a yearly schedule as opposed to changing it up and bringing it back to the summer. Anyway guys, I'm curious to know, what do you think about the iPhone 5S and iPhone C? I think the 5S is pretty much a lock, they're not going to be doing anything all that radical in my opinion. However, with the iPhone C, I give that one about a 50-50 shot of actually seeing the light of day. But the big thing is guys, what do you think? Would you be interested in iPhone C? Do you think it's the right move for Apple? Definitely be sure to let me know in the comments below. If you guys are interested in more, feel free to check out my what to expect on the new Samsung Galaxy S4. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave this video a thumbs up, and if you're interested in more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. Anyway guys, I will catch you next time.